everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install mods on a Minecraft 1.13.2 Forge server. I'm assuming you already have a Forge server set up. If you don't, you can check out the eye at the top of your screen to see how to set up a Forge server. That's our in-depth tutorial guide that walks you through the entire process. However, this video is brought to you by Apex Minecraft Hosting because they are the easiest way to set up a Forge server. You can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to quickly and easily set up a modded Minecraft 1.13.2 server in just a few clicks. We love Apex so much we host our own public network Minecraft server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get some mods installed on our server here. Now, first things first, you will need to install Forge locally. We go through doing this on our server and you want your friends to have Forge installed as well here. So you want to make sure that they go through this tutorial. It is linked second in the description down below how to install Forge. Go down there, go through this tutorial if you've not got Forge installed locally yet. Like I said, you'll also need to send it to your friends, so it's handy to bookmark it and just send it to them whenever they're about to join your server. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing we need to do is download mods. Now, we have a list of the best 1.12 mods for Minecraft. However, um, 1.13 just came out for Forge yesterday and we weren't prepared and don't have a list ready. However, once we do, it'll be linked in the description down below. However, for now, you can go here and to the link in the description down below, the third link down below, will take you here, which is uh, basically Curse Forge's list of Minecraft mods. It's where people go to host their mods. Today, we're going to be going over a few different ones and installing them on our server. First and foremost here is going to be Apple Skin. And then after that, we're going to be installing Ore Excavation and then Quick Leaf Decay. There are tons of different options here and as more and more mods come out for 1.13.2. We'll be doing videos of them here on the channel, so if you want updates on that, go ahead and subscribe for those new videos. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Apple Skin downloaded. All we want to do is, once we're here, click on Earlier Versions, and then we can go ahead and click on this little orange download button here, and the download will begin in the center of our screen on Mozilla Firefox. However, on Google Chrome, you'll need to keep the file in the bottom left. So here we go, Mozilla Firefox, you want to save file. As long as it ends in .jar, you're safe. Same thing on Google Chrome you want to keep it in the bottom left. Now, one thing that is worth mentioning here, I believe I did see a dependency mod, standalone mod, providing the HUD features previously enabled in Apple Core. Okay, so we don't need a mod there, just making sure we didn't need a dependency. So we've got Apple Skin downloaded. We can go ahead over to Ore Excavation, where we want to do the same thing. Click on Earlier Versions here, then click on for the 1.13.2 version, that little orange download button, and then it will go ahead and start downloading. We want to save the file on Mozilla Firefox, keep the file on the bottom left on Google Chrome, save thing 100% safe to do as long as it ends in dot jar go ahead and save that there then come back over to quick leaf decay our last mod here and you want to go to earlier versions and again make sure 1.13.2 most recent version is what we are downloading and it will go ahead and download in the bottom left in google chrome and in the center of your screen in mobile firefox i think you've got the idea at this point we want to keep and save the file so go ahead and save the file on google chrome you want to keep it now we finally minimize our browser here we have three mods on our desktop now these mods aren't on your desktop no worries Go ahead and click on the uh, Windows icon, the top left of my screen, to the bottom left of your screen. Click on that Windows icon there, type in Downloads right like so, and you'll see this Downloads folder. Your mods will be here in your Downloads folder. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now we need to go ahead and open up our Forge server. Remember I said you needed to have your Forge server already started? If you don't, you can check out a link in the description down below as well as at the eye at the top of your screen to get your Forge server started. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and we want to take these mods, highlight all of them, right? Select all of them. They should all have little blue boxes around them. We can drag them down. You can see the little blue boxes. Nevertheless, we want to then right click and copy on all of these mods. Come over here into our mods folder in our server. You should have a folder titled mods in the server and paste those mods in the server. Once we pasted those mods, we can go ahead and double click on our run.bat file, but we're not done just yet. We need to come to the top left for me, bottom left for you, that little windows button. Click on that little windows button and this time we want to type in run, R-U-N. Then the run application will appear and in the run application here, what we want to do is type in percent %APPDATA percent, right like so, percent app data percent and hit enter. Now, one thing that we need to see over here is that it seems like it's failed and we do have an error. This has been caused by a crash report on the server. Some mod it wasn't server enabled. It didn't like that. Let me see what we can uh, figure out what it is. Now, if this happens, which is going to, modded servers are extraordinarily hard to run. 
with crash reports. We do have this crash report here, so we can go ahead and open it up, and it'll kind of give us all the information we need. And uh, let me just take a quick jump cut to see exactly what mod caused this issue. Now, I'm not a super big expert on reading crash reports, right? I'm not an expert on it, but from what it seems here, it just crashed when loading mods. It doesn't seem to see to tell me which mod it was. So we're just going to remove them one by one. The first one being uh, the Apple Skin mod, because that is a mod that I have never kind of worked with before. It's a newer mod. So we're going to go ahead and delete that one first. And then all we can do is go ahead and restart the server by clicking on run.bat. That's why I would recommend kind of adding just a few mods at a time, one or two, that way you can easily see what's up. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get these installed locally. Again, to do that, what we want to do is go to the Windows icon, type in run, and then in our run folder or run file application, it's an application, type in percent app data percent, click OK, and it failed on us again. Wow. Okay, so it wasn't that mod. Let's go ahead and reduce it down to one mod here. We're just going to keep trying this until until we've just got one. We'll just try quick leaf decay. Now, it is possible that there is a bug with forward servers right now to where it can't run mods. It's very, very possible. It wouldn't surprise me. Forge came out literally yesterday for us. So let's go ahead and wait. Seems like it's taking a little longer this time, which makes me think it might be loading up the mod or it might fail out. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and see. Do we have everything running? I think we've made it farther than we had. Yes, we have. So the server is done there. Now I'm going to go ahead, add back in the Apple skin mod. We've got to start, stop the server, add back in Apple skin and see if it is both of those mods or if it's just or excavation that is not working well on a server. And I think it's probably just going to be or excavation looking at this, but I might be wrong. I've been wrong before. And that's why I'm kind of glad when these issues happen because it allows you to troubleshoot them. Remove one mod at a time until you figure out what mod it is. So as we can see, we're launching up here. We see preparing the spawn world. Yep, there we go. So it was, in fact, or excavation that is not working there. So we go ahead, get Apple skin back over here, and now we're in this folder. We got to this folder from the run application. It's the one you opened up by typing in percent app data percent. Once you're here, you want to go into dot Minecraft, and then you should have a mods folder here. If you don't have a mods folder, you need to go install Forge locally, like I said to do. But if you don't have a mods folder, you can just create one by right-clicking, creating a new folder, entitling it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Open your mods folder, take Apple skin and quick leaf decay or any other mods that you're installing on your server and drag them into your mods folder locally. Now we can go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here. Obviously we want to select the Forge profile. So in our case right there it is, the Forge profile. Click play and it will go ahead and open up the Forge profile in Minecraft running Forge. And that's kind of why running modded servers can be a bit difficult. You kind of saw how it worked there and everything that it did because it's not an easy thing. It's not like a one, two, three, step-by-step -step easy process. It's something that you have to troubleshoot. You have to be willing to remove mods, add mods back in until you figure out exactly what's going on. And then when you're all said and done, I'd start a new world. Once you've got all of your mods uh, installed by just deleting this world folder here. Remember, if you've built anything in the world, it will go away when you do that. Nevertheless, we want to go ahead and make this a ton bigger. That way you guys can see what's going on. But we want to click on multiplayer here. And what's this? The best Minecraft server in the multiverse? Play.breakdowncraft.com? I think it is. That is a 1.13.2 grief protected survival server. We've also got Skyblock. It is incredible. Come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com there. You will not regret it. We have jobs. We have ranks. We have crate keys. We have everything you want in an awesome survival server on top of being 100% grief protected. Come play with us. Nevertheless, if we go ahead and direct connect to our server here, it's just on our local IP. We'll be able to see it. there it is connecting. And now the first thing I'm going to do is actually opt myself because it's very, very easy for me to uh, show you. If we opt Nick's games, I'm pretty sure that the Apple, sorry, game mode creative, I forgot they changed that. But if we come in here, I'm pretty sure that Apple added some stuff in, but I'm not positive. Doesn't look like it did. Now you might be like, how can we see what mods are loaded on the server? For all we know, it didn't even load those mods. Well, it's actually not too easy to see what mods are installed on a Forge server other than just kind of trial and error. So give me one quick second. I want to see the Leaf Decay mod is, is going to be kind of hard to show, right? Because all this mod does 
is delay or decay leaves quickly, right? And you can change them with the config files. That is something else. If you want to change the config files in your server, you can come back here to your Forge modded server and your config files are right here. We can see the Apple skin did in fact load, but let's see, let's look into what this does. Okay, so we can see here that it adds a visualization of saturation when you get food in your hand and you are hungry. So step one here is for me to actually uh, set time to day real quick. And sorry, what is it? Time set day. Been a second since I've had to use vanilla-ish stuff on a server. Nevertheless, once we're here, what we want to do is actually go back into survival. And I'm just going to run around for a second and get... Oh, we can actually see it already, though. Do you see that? How that... Uh, hunger bar is affected. I'll zoom in on it so you can get a better look at it. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get my hunger down a second and then we'll get some food in my hand and we'll be we'll be able to definitely confirm that this is in fact working. So there we go. We've ran around and gotten our hunger down a bit. I'm going to go ahead and game mode, not game roll, game mode, creative real quick and allow myself to get like an apple. Makes sense. This is in fact apple skin. And get an apple in our hand and then go back to survival. And we should be able to see, yes, that that is, see the hunger bar there? I go ahead and zoom in on it again there. But you can see that the hunger bar is in fact affected. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. And this works for all sorts of mods. Where Forge just came out, we have some buggy mods like Aura Excavation that doesn't work on the server at all. And that's why we ran into that issue. Um, overall, it's as simple as dropping it into your mods folder and dropping it into your local mods folder and then clicking play. It's that simple. You don't have to go over, uh, you know, do, it's not typically this complicated is what I'm trying to say here. However, the reason it was because Forge just came out. Once mods like Tinker's Construct are out and, you know, all the cool IC2 things like that, all these cool mods that are, are very good on servers, um, it'll be very, very easy to install those and you'll be able to see in creative that they've worked because they add in items. But nevertheless, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you have any questions, post those in the comment section down below. I am more than happy to help you out. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Give the video a thumbs up if it did help you out. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome mod videos every single day of the week. And I'm out. Peace.